We at Tebex are happy to announce that we are now part of the Overwolf Guild, adding our G-commerce expertise to their all-in-one platform for creating, sharing, and monetizing in-game apps and mods. If you would like more information, I will leave a link in the video description. Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tebex. In this tutorial, I wanna look at the Backpacks plugin for Rust. The Backpacks plugin allows players to have a backpack that provides them with extra inventory space. We will first look at what kind of permissions we have and set everything up in game. We will quickly look at the configuration file to see what kind of extra configuration options we have. Then we'll dive into Tebex and see how we can give access to those backpacks once a purchase has been made. On my server, going into Oxide and going into Plugins, you can see that I already have the Backpacks plugin inside of my Plugins folder alongside the Permissions Manager. I will link to both those plugins in the video description. I am connected to my server and as you can see, I'm already admin. I can fly and spawn in items. Let's first look at the permissions that we have. So let's do slash perms. And since we are admin, this will open up the Permissions Manager. Let's go to All Groups at the bottom and then let's click on our VIP group. Let's click on Backpacks and these are all the permissions we have. So let's quickly go back to Umod and see what these permissions do. Scrolling down, we have a permissions section. It says the admin permission is required to use the view backpack command. You can see up here, view backpack. It says open another player's backpack. We have the graphical user interface permission and this is required to see the button. When people have this permission, the button will be visible, but they can still toggle it. It says here, toggle whether you can see the backpack graphical user interface button. If you have that turned off, either by not giving them the permission or if a player turns it off, they can still open up their own backpack by doing slash backpack. The use permission, and this is required to open up your own backpack. So this is definitely one we will have to give to players. Alternatively, we can say use dot and then a number between one and seven. That number will then represent the amount of extra rows they will have. We also have the fetch permission. This will allow you to automatically fetch or get a item from your backpack. And for example, you could set this up with a hotkey to automatically put items from your backpack into your main inventory with just a button press. Then we have three more permissions that are based around the behavior of the plugin. We have keep on death, keep on wipe, and also no blacklist. The first two are pretty self-explanatory and no blacklist says exempt players from the item restrictions. So inside of the configuration, you can set up blacklists and you can also set up a whitelist. These are disabled by default. We will look at this more in depth when we dive into the configuration overall. If you're using a blacklist and or a whitelist, giving players the no blacklist permission will automatically exempt players from those item restrictions. So let's first of all, allow us to use the backpack. Let's also show the button and you can see it instantly shows down here. Since I want to configure this for a player, I'm not going to do fetch or admin. And also these three kind of depend on what kind of server you are setting up. So let's first of all do one row and let's go back. And when we click on players, you can see that I am in the VIP list, meaning that if we later want to make changes to the permissions, we just have to edit the group and it will automatically reflect to all players. This also means that when using Tabex, it's really simple. We just have to add a player to a group and everything will work automatically how we set it up in game beforehand. So let's close this menu. And as we saw on Umod, we can do slash backpack. And as you can see, since I have the use one permission, I have one extra row here and I can put something in there. And then if I do slash backpack again, if I can type, <laughs> we can see that item is there and we can take it again. So it's extra inventory space. Let's give ourselves the highest permission or the highest amount of rows. Let's go back into backpacks and let's change one to seven. So you could, for example, have several different tiers of VIP. Let's go back instead of using slash backpack. Let's just press tab to open up our inventory and then click. And as you can see, since I changed the permission, we now have seven extra rows, even more than our normal inventory. Let's put these back into my backpack. Let's get my ID. So let's go to console and say status. And then we can see my ID. So this is my Steam ID. Let's copy this and then let's give ourselves permission. Let's do fetch and admin. Let's go back. So we now do slash view backpack and then our Steam ID. It's a little bit weird because it's my own inventory, but you can see that I can indeed as an admin look at what items are in someone's backpack. Going back to the human page, we can see that we need to have the, where is it? Fetch. 
This is a console command and it says backpack.fetch, then the item short name or ID, and then the amount. So let's copy this, press F1, and let's remove this. Then we need to get the ID of the item. I'm using the shotgun shells and I have some in my backpack. Let's throw these away. So I have nothing in my inventory. Then let's Google the item ID. We're going to use corrosion hour for this. At the top, 12 gauge buck shotgun. So let's copy this item ID. Let's paste it in here. Make sure there's only one space. And let's say 10. It says fetched 10 12 gauge buckshot from backpack. And as you can see, now I have 10 in my normal inventory and those got taken from my backpack. And since you can bind this, so let's do F1 and press up, copy this and let's say bind I and then let's paste it. Now, if I press I, you can see I instantly get 10 buckshot. So you could set it up, for example, to automatically give yourself more resources if you're building or more heals if you're in a fight. You can use that bind command on any button and any console command you can just run. So including to open up your backpack, you can bind it to a button just like I just demonstrated and it will automatically open up your backpack. That is kind of the overview of the features. Let's quickly go into the configuration file and see what kind of options we have before we go into TabX. So let's go back to our hosting company, go to the config folder and open up the backpacks.json. Most of these will be self-explanatory and it really depends on what kind of server you're setting up, what kind of features you should go to. I just quickly want to go over the options. The first few are really about the behavior of the backpack. So if you want to drop it on death or erase on death, can both be toggled true and false. You can also clear backpacks on map wipe, depending or if you may be doing a full wipe, you might want to do this. Now, I quickly talked about this earlier, but as I said, you can use a blacklist. So items that are not allowed to go into backpacks, for example, here, auto turret or the LMG. Or the other way around, if you only want to allow certain items to go into the backpack, you can also use a whitelist. If you wanted to add items to this whitelist, you should use the same format displayed over here. Between these brackets, you could add items in the same format over here. In this way, you could really control what items can or cannot go into backpacks. You could, for example, only allow resources, and this way it will not mess with the balance of fights, for example, with people having too much ammo, too much heals, where fights just keep on going. Once again, depending on what kind of server you have, choose what kind of settings you need. You can also change the button. So if we go to this link, this is the picture we get shown in game. If you want to, for branding reasons or just to stand out, you could also have a custom picture for your backpacks. And also you can change the position of the button. You can also set a default size. So normally if you just give the use permission, automatically they get one row. If you, for example, want that to change that to something else, you can change it here and reload the plugin with the new configuration. So I am actually going to disable this, leave the rest the same. Let's click on save and exit. I'll quickly remove the admin and the fetch from the VIP group. And seven is maybe a bit much. Let's do four. Now we basically have two inventory spaces. Let's dive into Tabax and see how we can add a player to our VIP group once a purchase has been made. So I gave my package a name, a oversimplified description. I chose a category and I also set a price. So now let's add a deliverable. In our case, we want to use the game server commands. Make sure that our Rust server is connected to this package. And then let's add our first command. I will link to this UMOD documentation in the description. What we want to do, we want to add a player to a existing group. So let's copy this and go into Tabax. When the package is purchased, we want to add a player to a new group. We don't want to add Wolf. We want to add the player who is logged in to our web store. Saying opening bracket, we can see that we have several variables that we can use. In this case, we want to use the ID variable. And this will get the primary ID from the player's username. Basically, whoever is logged into our web store. We don't want to add them to the admin group. We want to add them to our VIP group. That's the group we just configured. And that's all we have to do. Just save the package. Now, when someone buys this package while they're logged into your web store, they will automatically get added to the group and get access to all the permissions you attached to that group. In this case, some extra inventory space. Oh, that rhymed. Wasn't even, <laughs> wasn't even planned. As always, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. And good luck with your Tabex store.